And I think too, I think showing your personality and showing who you are um, is really key as well. Because you know, if your portfolio looks like everybody else's they've seen that day or whatever, you're not going to stand out. Thank you so much for having us. Um, yeah, my name is Patrick Laurent and I'm uh, with Laurent Collective. Um, and I am, it's a husband and wife team. My wife is um, as well, part of my team as well. And she is kind of more of the business side of things where I'm kind of the, more of the, the creator and the art artistic side of things. Right now we just, we do a lot of lettering, hand lettering and illustration work. And that's kind of primarily our kind of our um, sweet spot and where we're at right now. And uh, we are, my, my wife and I were from the United States, um, but we currently live in London right now. And that's where we kind of uh, work out of right at the moment. It's, uh, it's, it's been a long journey. I, you know, I, like a lot of artists, I think, you know, you pick up a crayon or a pencil when you're really young. And um, luckily I, I had some amazing parents who loved and encouraged me in it and told me not to color within the lines. Um, but I think when it really kind of hit home for me that I really wanted to jump into something creative, maybe as a career, um, was in high school um, in the States. And uh, my teacher came in and showed me a t-shirt with a Nike swoosh on it um, and said, somebody created that, somebody designed that. Um, and at that moment right there, I knew that um, I definitely thought that's something that I want to do. I want to be creating images and logos and something that people wear all the time or that have in their home or um, you know could be potentially on TV at that moment. You know I think you, you you need to create a portfolio that is specific to kind of your industry or your hope of where you want to go and the direction that you want to go um, whether that's design or illustration or animation. I had more of an advertising focus of a portfolio um, with very traditional branding elements and, um, you know, magazine layouts and all that kind of stuff. And then as, as my um, career has kind of shifted a little bit more towards lettering and illustration, it's kind of evolved and changed in that direction. Um, so I think the biggest thing that I would probably encourage people in when creating a portfolio is, is kind of to do the things that you love to do, you know, explore different projects, uh, try to come up with your own projects, you know, recreate things that um, you would love to create if you had a, if, if you had your ideal job. And I think too, I think showing your personality and showing who you are um, is really key as well. Because, you know, if your portfolio looks like everybody else's they've seen that day or whatever, you're not going to stand out. Yeah, I think style is a, is, a, is kind of a hot hot word and, and, and it's it's a, a big thing that everybody's trying to figure out, right? Is to find out who you are, what is your style, how can you stand out from the crowd? Because again, there's just so many, there's just, yeah, there's a ton of artists and there's amazing artists that are doing so many amazing things. Um, but yeah, you, you have a certain story that you can tell, like because of your experiences and the things that you've gone through and all that kind of stuff. Continue to practice and do certain things certain things of your experiences and who you are and all that kind of stuff is going to start to kind of weave itself in. You start to evolve and see certain things that are your own, are unique to yourself because you're starting to kind of mold in pieces that are yours. Um, and I, I think I think style too as well can evolve um, and change over time. So it's not necessarily like you hit this certain point and um, you've made it and you're there. It's weird. I have a weird relationship with trends. Like I like I like trends, and I like to see what other artists are doing, and seeing kind of what is the hot thing or the hot cool color palette or or whatever. And I think I I I tend to find more of those things, um, you know, on Instagram or um, Pinterest or things like that that I seek out, or or even you know seeing things in media. And with living in London, I think you got to be careful with jumping onto trends sometimes um, because. I think, you know, if you're trying to jump onto a trend because that's what everybody else is doing, um, then you're going to look like everybody else and, um, and you're not going to one be yourself, but then also are you, could you be doing something that could send a new trend? Um, and so I think there's, there's a, there's a really 
fine line of, to walk with Trent. I think I, I, social media has been kind of really uh, an amazing tool for, for Laurent Collective and for our business over the years. Then you also can create things that can impact and influence others that um, for, for the better. You know, I think that that's like really why we do what we do is we want to put stuff out into the world to love and encourage people. And so, I mean, there's the fact that I, that we've created pieces of artwork or prints or certain products that have shipped all over the world. Um, there's no way they would have seen or heard about our company uh, if there wasn't social media. That That's what kind of gets me up in the morning it, to be able to create something new for the people that like follow us and, um, you know, want to kind of hear where we're at and what's going on. And, um, and it's just a great way to create community as well and collaboration and So we, you know, we started out really small. We, you know, we started out with family and friends and, and it was, it was one of those things that we, I just kind of started creating things that I enjoyed. And then, you know, friends around us and family around us said, oh, that's really cool. Could you make me one or create something for me for that? And so I would do that. And then out of that, it spread. So family members and friends would say, oh yeah, I got this thing from a friend of mine you know, and pass my name along. So a lot of it was just a uh, word of mouth. From there, then we could say, okay, we've, we've created these things for these certain people or this company or um, this, this industry or whatever. And then, then you can kind of go from there and say, because I've done this, I've created this like portfolio, like we talked about earlier, I've created this portfolio of work. Then you can start approaching other clients. You can send emails, you can, you know, do um social media campaigns and pushes towards them part right, we're doing like lots of one-off clients and smaller clients um which is something that we actually love you know we we like to create things for people's homes or to for people to have in their homes to create memories and things like that and i love to get as much information and research from the client as i possibly can um and then from there um, you know, depending on the project and what it is, um, then we, then I just go to the sketch phase and I just do as many sketches I possibly can. And I do everything usually on with just the pencil and paper. Um, I, and then eventually I get to the digital side of things. That's kind of, that's kind of newer to me, um, the digital side of my process. And so then from the sketch phase, usually at that, that point of the, the process, I usually send maybe, you know, my best five sketches that are a little bit more fleshed out to the client. And so then we kind of walk through those and we have a process of chatting about that. And then once those are narrowed down, then I can kind of step into uh, maybe a more of a, you know, a color version or something that's a little bit more detail oriented from that sketch phase so that the client can go, okay, great. These are, these things are working. These aren't. Um, and then from there, hopefully by that time, you know, after, however many rounds of changes or tweaks or thoughts or color changes, then from there, then you can potentially then get to that final stage of creating it either, um, either digitally or if it's on, you know, if it is like a painting or, um, or something. Um, yeah, I think uh, a Laurent Collective is, is, is starting to kind of expand um, at the moment. So we're starting actually to evolve more into getting into some products and um, potentially uh, some tools for other artists and, uh, and eventually potentially doing, um, uh, my wife and I are potentially doing like a podcast as well. We want to be creating and producing things that are encouraging others to, like I said, live into kind of their passions and their gifts. I love children's books and all that kind of stuff. And so my hope would be to eventually be in that market as well. Um, but yeah, I think we just kind of, we take it day by day and um, whatever kind of comes across to our path, we kind of look at it and evaluate it and say, is this something that we want to step into? And, um, and that's, yeah, that's just kind of how it's worked. Oh, with, I'm so thankful that you even asked us. This is awesome. So uh, I just feel very honored and humbled that you guys even want to know what I'm thinking or know what we're doing. So it's just awesome. So we're thankful to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it.